Hey, good morning, Bob Trade Genius, the 3rd of June. Sorry I didn't do a video yesterday, just got caught up in life. But, looking at the, um, the week we had last week, it was a lot of sailboat racing, but make no mistake, this was a bullish reversal right here. I'm looking at a daily here, I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys. And um, money flow's turning up, direction confirmation's turning up, we're close to all-time, all well, I guess it's all-time highs, but it's also 52-week highs. And um, we bounced off of VWAP, bounced off the 100-day moving average, and broke off of a downtrend line. And now we're putting up here a little bit of a triple top action. If we break 274.25 area, then, um, then I think it's a boom to uh, at least to 280. You know, kind of a tracing out of a kind of a funky uh, um, long-term reversal pattern and also does the top of the Bollinger Band for VWAP and uh, and, I, and I think it's gonna happen you know we have eight days before the uh, the Fed meeting announcement for interest rates and I think they're gonna make a run for it and so um, I just want you to kind of be aware of that and be prepared to uh, uh, go long and and uh, I think the weakness, any weakness should be bought. I'm gonna flip down to a, a two hour here. Is um and see the two hours confirming too. So you got multiple time frames confirming this move, and um and so a lot of times Monday they'll push it down. It'll be interesting to see what they do Sunday night. If it, if they gap this thing up Sunday night, and it just keeps moving higher, then I, then Monday will be an up day, and then I think they're gonna run this thing. So. There's just literally nothing, you know, from a news standpoint that's going to derail this at this point. Look, people are tired of the trade talk, and I think people are figuring out that the trade is not going to be bearish for the U.S. stock market, and that the dollar's strength is going to draw capital into this country, and the big move at the employment report last week didn't move interest rates up any higher. So I think there's a lot of signals happening here right now. And if the Fed wiggles at all in June, worrying about the dollar getting too strong now versus too weak, is that you'll see you'll see gold in the miners rip too. And uh, but I want to show you a couple beta names too. We're in Twitter and um sorry about that. Give me one second. So we're in Twitter and Twitter's breaking out. Okay, and uh, and just it's, I think it's going to keep moving. You know, the, the target I have on it is right here. Is that's going to be a cup? Then we'll get a little bit of a push down, and then from there I think we're going to we're going to explode. So you're right here, 26. Let's just call it 37. Okay, 26, 37 is 11 points. You're you're looking at a forty-eight dollar stock here, in, in in very short order. I think we'll get a little bit of a pause because uh, everything's starting to get a little overbought. And um, but even if it pulls back, I think it'll hit thirty-seven first, pull back into into a handle, and then I think we explode higher. So FYI on that, um, the one I just keep getting stopped out on, but I'm going to keep trying at it. Is I think. We, we probably get a point here we're ready for a, a bounce here because it broke below 37 which was my stop and it closed above it I'm just gonna wait till uh, I get a cross over here and I'm gonna jump back in this thing again and uh, this this has a potential to go to 49 it's digesting a lot of turmoil here with the uh, change in the direction from the guy that was running this thing short and uh, surprised me a little bit that uh, unless people knew here you know that he was doing it okay that I expected more of a squeeze and I was taking advantage of it but you know say la vie um, it, you know it caught me and but that's that's life and trading and so I'm looking for crossovers and then uh, I'm gonna jump back into Roku and then um, just want to show you Baba because it was the Chinese companies here is that this thing's bull flagging had a big move on Friday if it breaks 205 you have to take the trade because it's going up five more bucks play it with options 
you know you can maybe pick up a thousand dollars here if you can grab uh you know five contracts for a five dollar move here and if it happens it's going to happen within a week and or two and i think you're going to make some good money i'm going to look for some other beta names here um and i think we'll probably get a little bit of a pushback higher in oil but i think oil's still going down you know through summer because i think we're still way too much supply and I think Russia is going to have to give in on this because they're starting to get some domestic problems with the higher oil prices. So it'll be interesting to uh, to watch. So be careful with the energy names, although a lot of them hit my screen on Friday. So it could be a counterintuitive move here. You know, prices softening a little bit, and but the uh, energy names moving higher because they've been out of balance. You have to realize the oil and oil uh, producer ratio is, is out of whack. So people may move from oil itself into those names and wait for oil to move back higher again. Anyway, Bob Trade Genius, thanks for listening. I'll circle back sometime later today with some, some more names, but I want to get something out there for you guys and uh, um, so you, you know I wasn't forgetting about you. Thanks. Bye-bye.